So thank you for joining me. If uh, you haven't ever seen anything before, this is quite the video to jump in on. So either way, if you're returning, I appreciate you coming back and supporting me. Uh, we're doing something a little different. This isn't one of my vlogs or an unboxing. This isn't one of my random adventures I've just recorded slapping together trying to monetize my life footage. Um, this is an interview series I'm starting to conduct with other Goosebumps YouTubers around the community. Um, I've reached out to quite a few of you. Some of you have gotten back to me. Some of you have been busy and haven't had a chance to, and that's okay. But I've got a few pieces, and I've got enough to at least make this segment. So let's go with this as part one of We Are Goosebumps. So tell me, what's your favorite Goosebumps book? Hey, guys. Hey, Brand Syme here, and I'm here for the Goosebumps Now collab video. So that's a thing. Look, my favorite Goosebumps book is got to be One Day at Horrorland. My favorite Goosebumps book is Haunted School. All right, so let's see. Uh, what's my favorite Goosebumps book? Um, it would probably be Monster Blood. And what about it do you really enjoy most? The reason is my favorite Goosebumps book is because I just love the whole entire idea of just Go of Horrorland, of just the theme park. I always thought it was really cool, and I would always wanted to. I've always wanted to go to it if it was real, but sadly, it's not. The reasons why the reason why I like Haunted School is because it's a classic Goosebumps book. It's it had it got me all the way through. Like you know, it got me from like the story. Uh, the way it ends was a classic Otto Stein twist. Um, class. I love the way it ended. Um, you know, just I always liked slime in general. Uh, thank Nickelodeon for that. Uh, I always thought it was like, I like the texture and stuff and how Monster Blood looks like that. And just the idea that, you know, a liquid, you know, can eat something and grow bigger like, like, like a blob is, is really cool. I, I really think it's an interesting concept and it, you know, entertained me quite a bit. Plus it's the first and only book to say, oh my God, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> what exactly was it that got you into Goosebumps? Uh, I got into Goosebumps by um, my grandfather and my local library as a kid. Um, um, I was able to rent the VHSs of the, C the TV show. I think the first one I rented was Haunted the Mask. And I got into the series that way, by the VHSs in the TV show. And what got me into Goosebumps was in, like, 2011. I was at summer school, and a girl was reading Egg Monsters from Mars, and I saw the cover. I thought it looked very interesting, and I asked her what it was, and she said Goosebumps. And then, uh, everyone said, uh, well, everyone, then, after I saw that day, I kind of went, wanted to find them. So I went to Half Price Books by me, and I found my first book, which was number 44, Say Cheese and Die Again. Uh, what got me into Goosebumps? Uh, that would probably be when I saw in fourth grade, uh, in fourth grade, my teacher had Don't Go to Sleep uh, for his choice of books, and I read a little bit of it, and I didn't really finish it. Uh, I did have a friend uh, who had a Attack of Jack-O-Lanterns as well that I saw him read during reading time, which was pretty cool. So those were my very first Goosebumps books I remember seeing, even though that wasn't a question, but <laughs> but that's how I knew Goosebumps. What, what got me into Goosebumps was when I realized there was a TV show about it. I'm like, what? What is your favorite Goosebumps episode? Uh, what's my favorite Goosebumps episode? Um, I would have to say probably, uh, Living Dummy 2. Um, what is my favorite Goosebumps episode? My favorite Goosebumps episode is probably, that's hard. Oh, I'm Mask or Haunted Mask 2. They're just both amazing Halloween specials. I watch them every year. I have to. It's like a tradition with me. Same thing with the Treehouse of Horrors. I gotta watch those every year. My third episode of Goosebumps is, I would have to say, 
Hmm. I'd have to go werewolf skin. Why is that your favorite Goosebumps episode? The reason it, it, it's werewolf skin is because it's so action-packed. I love the ending. I love the 90s references. There's, like, a, legit, there was a huge budget that had to be on in that episode because there's, an like, an action movie from the 90s explosion. There's a nice Jeep, like, speeding scene with rock music playing in the background. There's the ending for itself. Like, this, the ending scene was my favorite. Um, One of the coolest ending scenes I've ever seen. Uh... Well, I always been into ventriloquist dummies. You know, I always thought they looked cool. You know, I always, I always liked Edgar Bergen's performance on Fun and Fancy Free, uh, the Disney movie. And uh, you know, I always thought they were actual people or something. I just liked the looks of them, and and that just so happened to be the first Living Dummy episode. And you know, the whole concept was kind of creepy. You know, about, you know, a dummy coming to life and whatnot and, you know, messing around with things. And it was, it was really neat. In your opinion, what is the rarest or most special Goosebumps item in your collection, at least to you? Um, my rarest item in my Goosebumps collection is my... My Goosebumps Live on Stage book. My Goosebumps box set that I got, Goosebump Series 2000 box set, my audiobook set that I bought, or the figurine that I got from Goosebumps Now. What's the rarest, most precious Goosebumps book or item I own? That would... Let's see. I think at the moment, it would be my uh, Goosebumps Presents uh, box set. I have only seen like two or three pop up in the last few years. Um, and I, I got it for a pretty okay price. Uh, I've never, I've only seen one other time it came up. Of the rare items I own, I own four rare things. I recently got one of the rare things in the mail today. Um, I got. Uh, the haunted, no, the haunted mask, actual mask from Trigger Trees Thrills, which is pretty rare to find. I have a copy of it, Tales, for, um, no, not Tales, uh, what's it called? Um, Trick or Trapped, that's pretty rare. Um, the, a sloppy pinup board, poster cardboard from, um, Zachary ATV that I got, and I would say, um, Goosebumps Live on Stage book is the if they were to make a new season of Goosebumps, what episode would you be hoping to see the most? Well, surprisingly, it would probably be Chicken Chicken. <laughs> I mean, with, you know, all the effects and stuff they have now. I mean, it just it seems like an easy episode to do. Uh, you know, makeup artists nowadays, you know, and stuff like that. They can make the transformation fairly easily and make it quite convincing. Um, and that was the first book I've read, and I don't know, it's one of those little classics that I kind of like. I would have, I would like to see, uh, if they were to make a new Goosebumps TV show s series, I would definitely like to see a lot of the, se like, Series 2000 books from the 62 that weren't made into it, like Ghost Camp, Ghost Camp, uh, uh, Haunted School for sure, Curse of Camp Cold Lake. If they were making a new season of Goosebumps, what would you want in it? Uh, I would love to see for an episode would be either Creature Teacher, because I always thought that would be a great idea to actually put inside of it. What brought you to YouTube for Goosebumps, per se? What made you want to do YouTubing for Goosebumps? What got me into Goosebumps, um, YouTubing was definitely people like Zach Baby TV, Goose like you, Goosebumps Now, um, Goosebumps Guy, uh, Goosebumps number one Aussie fan, and, um, basically those three got, those three people got me into you, Goosebumps YouTubing. Then also that, and I'm like, when I got started my YouTube channel, I just did a couple book reviews here and there, and I'm like, you know, when I first started my channel, I'm like, did a couple book reviews, and I'm like, it'd be better if I just started making more Goosebumps content than just book reviews, and like doing updates and collections and stuff like that. 
and then I'm like thrift videos and all that type of stuff and I'm like okay you know what we're goosebumps is like a very underpopulated uh like an under like represented station on YouTube I mean you got Zabby TV you got you you got Goosebumps and Ronson fan but that's very, like about that's like 15 percent of the people population has Goosebumps stuff uh what got me into Goosebumps YouTubing honestly uh probably uh Goosebumps Aussie fan number one, I think his name is. I, I'm sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> but he he got me into Goosebumps YouTube because his collection is astounding. It's amazing and I and it's it's awesome and I aspire to be like that, but there's no way I'd be able to collect all that merchandise. He's the reason why I got into it and you know, it helped spark my uh, interest in uh, showing off my collections and, you know, helping people out with certain things and whatnot. So, yeah. One more interview I did. I didn't sync it up with the, these questions because he didn't, he wasn't able to make uh, video answers for me, which is okay. I told him I'd still include him. Um, his name is Liam Crooney. I'm sure you've seen him floating around one of the many Goosebumps fan pages on Facebook. He's a really big fan. He's a really nice guy. So I told him, you know, I'd take what he gave me and I'd work it into it. So here at the end, I'm just going to read off what he's given me. <clears throat> Liam's favorite Goosebumps book was The Haunted Mask. Uh, it was given to him by his brothers, so that's what got him into Goosebumps. And that covers his favorite um, book. It's also his favorite episode. Um, what he likes most about it is... I'm going to read this verbatim. Liam's favorite book is The Haunted Mask, as well as it being his favorite episode. He really enjoys the spooky atmosphere and mystery the Hallway brings to the story. Um, Liam's brother gave him the book, and that was his first book, The Haunted Mask. And that's what began his love for these timeless series. Uh, so thanks again for participating, Liam. I uh, wish you could in the video, but that's okay. Cheers, mate. And with that, I think that brings a close to part one of this series. Um, I'm happy to continue it. I'm still waiting on a few interviews from a few other YouTubers who have just been busy or out of the state or just haven't had time. That's okay. If you would like to participate in one of these, feel free to hit me up. I'll leave a link in the description on how to get a hold of me so that you may contact me and we can discuss this. You can reach out to me over the Facebook groups. Uh, I'm in the Goosebumps Swapping Shop. Arl Stein Horror Fans. If it's a fan page, I'm pretty much in it. So. Feel free to reach out to me, and we can make part two of this work. Just want to say thanks again for watching, everybody, and never forget, we are Goosebumps. And I just want to say one thing. We are Goosebumps. We are Goosebumps. We are Goosebumps!